Hey, it's Patrick from Friendly. Today, I'm demoing a brand new action that just went live called Generate Records. It uses AI to generate multiple records for the data source that you select, and all with very minimal configuration required. So it's, it's a really nice new action, and I'm going to demo that right now. I have a simple page with a table showing my product's data source, and then I have a button. So I'm going to go to the button, and I'm going to configure the click action. So I will add a step to this action, and then I'm gonna select the new generate records action over here. So I have a prompt, and in this case, I'm just gonna do a basic prompt. It's gonna say generate three random e-commerce products. So no special variables or anything in here. I can come back and do another version with a variable after, but I'm gonna select a data source, which is required for this action. So I'll select my products. This tells the AI system uh, all of the fields of my data source so it knows what to generate. And I can even edit them here a little bit. So I can turn off fields if I don't want them to be generated by AI. Maybe I just don't care about them. I don't wanna waste the bandwidth. And then if I want, I can also provide information. So I could say, uh, if I click on a field, there's a description field here. And I can say um, a description of the product between 100 and 150 characters. So that gives it some parameters to work with. Otherwise, it would just be kind of deciding on the length and it doesn't really know what we want. So that's kind of nice. I would recommend probably going through and giving descriptions for the ones that aren't blatantly obvious. And uh, anyway, I don't have to go through too many. If I do want to, instead of um, having the AI generate something, if I want to provide a static value, I can type that in the value field. That will automatically replace the need for AI to generate it. So uh, with that, um, I pretty much have it set up. There's one other thing, which is this really powerful new concept to Frontly um, with this action, and it's called the AI response view. So if I turn this on, we have an automatic view that will pop up when the response comes back, and you'll see what that looks like. So I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to go to my live page and I'm going to refresh the page now that I've made some changes. So if I uh, click on my generate products button, it's going to load and it's going into this new full screen loading state. And then as you can see, it just came back and we have this fully editable little grid here that I can scroll through um, and I can even I can make changes. So instead of, you know, eco friendly, I could say environmental you know environment friendly and when I hit save now it's gonna go save those records in my database and you can see they're right here um, so it, it gives me the ability to not only generate records but immediately make some edits to them and then save them at the end now if instead I would prefer to just automatically save them and just skip that step entirely I, all I have to do is uh, turn off the AI response view so if I turn that off, it just skips the pop-up uh, entirely. And so I'll do it again and I'll show you what that looks like. So um, I'm going to click generate products and it'll still load. But instead of showing that response view, it should just automatically add those to the table. So there we go. We've got a few new products that just appeared and that's it. So this is just one of you know the new AI actions that we're working on. We're trying to make things more streamlined so that you don't have to worry about creating a bunch of chained action steps and doing all of this just to be able to build sophisticated and useful AI systems into your products. So um, I hope this is really helpful and I look forward to hearing your feedback since this is a brand new feature. So thanks for watching.